Hi everybody, Steven here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to deploy VCF for Logs version nine in your VMware Cloud uh, Foundation environment. So stick around and we'll also see why you would wanna deploy that as well. See you in a bit. Thanks for sticking around. So this one should be that long and all, I promise. Um, I'm gonna try to make these videos shorter now. So anyways, uh, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how do we deploy VCF for logs in VMware Cloud Foundation version nine. Uh, and we'll see a couple of reasons why you would want to do that, okay? Uh, later on, I'll probably do a video on it, using it, but for now, let's just learn how to install it. Um, and again, I always like to throw this out there. For those of you that subscribe to the channel, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. For those of you that like this kind of stuff or are interested, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing. It's really easy. It's totally free. Hit that subscribe button. Other ways to support the channel is leaving comments and questions down below. Sharing and liking also helps out with YouTube analytics. Uh, and last thing, I also have super thanks enabled. Well, that's totally up to you. Why don't we get started? Okay, so let's get started here. A couple of reasons why you would probably want to install this. If I go to security, again, under security op um, operations, you don't get any of this user security stuff. You want to, it needs logs, VCF, uh, VCF um, operations for logs installed. Uh, if I go to audit event, again, you need the logs appliance installed. If I go into uh, infrastructure operations, I think under analyze, it needs it as well. So, hey, sounds like a pretty good thing to install. Uh, let's go back to home here. Uh, I'm just gonna go into, let's uh, go into fleet management. Let's go into lifecycle. I'm gonna select my uh, VCF management, and then over here you see operations for log, it's not, it's not added. Before you do that, you need to set up your depot configuration, whether it's online or offline. I've had videos on this already, so I won't bore you. But you also need, whether it's online or offline depot, you need to go to your binary management and click on the install binaries, and then you need to download it. Notice over here, there it is version, I'm um, version nine, uh, operations log, it's not downloaded. So I'm gonna select it, hit the download button, and then it's doing its thing. I can click on this or I can go to tasks. Under tasks, you see there's one in progress and you'll see it's downloading the binary. So I'm just gonna pause the recording. We'll come right back when that's done. So we're back, it took about a minute to do that. Great, let's go back into binary management. I'll go install binaries and da -da -da -da, there we go. Operations logs, it is downloaded, it's version not great. It's only about a gig in size, so it's fairly quick. I can go to components here. Uh, but I'm going to go into overview and over, under overview, I'm just going to click on add operations log and I'll click on that. Now it's asked me, do I want to do a brand new install or do I want to import an existing version nine environment? I'm doing a brand new install. Uh, and do I want to do a standard or cluster deployment? I'm going to do a standard deployment. I'll probably do a separate videos on clusters, but we, have, we need to understand how the cluster setup is in log. So let's learn how to walk before we run. I'm going to go next here. Now, over here, it's asking me to select a certificate. Um, I've actually already created one, uh, vclogs.edu, but you would just click on the plus sign here and say generate certificate and you would fill in the information. Let's do it. Let's, uh, uh, that's the alias. Actually, I don't have a conflict. So you'd fill in the information here. The alias, uh, mine would be basically, sorry, um, uh, vcflogs.vclass.edu and uh, yeah, and then the common name, I'm just gonna use the same thing. Uh, then you put your organization, the unit, all that kind of stuff. And then over here, you fill in your organization information over here, it's pretty straightforward. And over here, you specify your fully qualified domain name and optionally uh, IP address if you want to, okay? Or both, and then you save it. I'm gonna cancel this, I've already got one there. So I'm gonna pick that, VCF logs, idiot. great. And you see my certificate's good for almost two years. I'm gonna go next. Under, under infrastructure, it's gonna ask me what's, I'm installing this in my management domain, so it's asking me for the vCenter server for my management domain, what cluster in my management domain, and am I gonna put in a particular folder? I'll put in discovery or discover all VMs. Uh, do I have a resource pool? I don't, but I could pick one. What port group am I plugging this into? So this is going on to my management network, my VM management network, and VCF created one for me right there. So I'm gonna pick that. Uh, what data store, I got a vSAN data store in my management network, in my management domain, 
and I'm going to go thin disk, which anyways, it's vSAN. Now over here it says enable this option, use content library, enable this option. If you have poor network latency from fleet manager appliance to your vCenter server. So I guess if these things are in different locations, there's a lot of latency, maybe you don't want to, um, you know, have an impact that. So you can actually use like uh, content library within vSphere. I've got videos on content library. I'm not, everything's local here, so I'm just going to leave that deselected. I'm going to go next. Now it's asking me for my network stuff. What's my domain name? Mine's vclass.edu. What's the domain search? vclass.edu in my environment. DNS servers. Do I want to add some new DNS servers here? Or I'm going to use the existing ones that I, that I told VMware Cloud Foundation to use when I did the install. So I'm going to go next. I'm going to go finish. How about time synchronization? Do I want to use host time or NTP? Again, I can specify a different NTP server here by selecting this. Or I can say, no, I want to use what I specified during my build of my management domain. And there they are. And I go next and I go finish. And then it's asking me for my gateway for this network. So 220, oops. 172.20.10.10. That's my gateway in my lab environment and, um, and the net mask here. There we go. Let me go next. Now it's going to ask me, come on, for the component information. So it's saying, what, how big of a node do you want here? This is going to depend on, remember, it's a syslog server. Everything is getting dumped to the syslog server. So your host, your vCenter, your NSX, all that. So if you've got a lot of stuff dumping, you want to make this bigger. Again, look at the config max. It gives you kind of an idea how big to make this thing. My lab, I'm just going to pick small. Do I want FIPS? I don't care about that in my environment. If, you're, you know, if you need that federal information processing, if you need that standard, you enable it. I don't care in my lab environment. Notice the certificate. It defaulted to one I created. Anti-affinity or affinity rules. If I had a cluster, if I was setting up a VCF logs cluster, uh, do I want to create rules to keep these nodes on different hosts? Again, I'm not doing a cluster. I don't care. Same thing with a cluster IP. I don't care. I'm not doing one, so I'll say no. This one's here. Uh, weird. Upgrade VM compatibility to the latest available version. So let's say I did an upgrade to version 9.1 whenever it comes out and there's a new version of VMware Tools, it can upgrade that for me. There's different ways to do that with lifecycle management, but you know what? We'll leave that one alone for now, uh, but up to you. This one is also a little weird. By default, by default, language is determined by the browser language setting. Enabling this configuration causes operations to log ignore the browser language setting and display English only. So by selecting this, you're going to display English only. Whatever you want, right? I'm going to leave that alone. And then my email address, I'll put it in at vclass.edu. And then select component password. I'll select this. I'm going to pick the same one I use for VCF Ops, my admin user for VCF Ops. I'm going to pick that one, okay? Then it's asking me uh, NTP server. Do I want to use a host uh, or NTP? I'm going to say, again, notice it's defaulting to what I kind of selected before when I created my management domain. Now under here, it's asking about the VM. What's the name of the VM display name? Notice it's VRLI-Master. That's the default name. That stands for vRealize Log Insight. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call mine VCF Logs-Primary. I know I'm not setting up a cluster, but I'm just going to call it Primary. Uh, and then what's its fully qualified domain name? VCF Logs.VClass.edu in my environment. And then my, uh, the IP address, 172.20.1, oops, 10.110. There we go. You, you need forward and reverse lookup set for this. I'm going to go next. It's going to do a validation, and I'm going to click on this, all right? And then um, we'll let this thing run. It'll probably take a few minutes, and I'll pause the recording, and we'll come right back. So that didn't take long. Everything looks good. I'm going to click on next, and then comes back gives me a little summary you want to check that out and I'm gonna hit you can export this configuration by the way maybe you want to do it again and maybe modify it I'm gonna hit submit and at that point actually let's go back to tasks and you see there's a task in process if I click on that and we see it's actually installing I'm not gonna watch this screen here this could take probably about 40 minutes if I remember correctly uh, we're just, I'm just gonna pause this and we'll come back and see what go, what's going on all right so we'll see you right back so we're back. It's done. It took close to about 40 minutes to complete. Um, if I go back into here, overview, you'll see again logs, 
operations logs hits a new deployment excellent uh, and i can manage it if i want to here add nodes if you get into a clustered environment but i'll probably do a separate video on that if i go back into um well, what do i want to do infrastructure operations analyze you'll actually see i've got logs up here it's actually coming in it's pulling in some information if i go back to security and under security operations again i see authentications and user permissions okay great see all that stuff audit events uh notice it's coming up says it's not configured so you still may have to go in and configure vcf for logs uh and vcenter to send the logs to it nsx to send the logs to it kind of surprised it doesn't do that for us but anyways it's something you have to do afterwards but anyways um that's pretty much it it's installed um I hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll see you in the next one. The next one will be uh, VCF Operations for Networks, which used to be called VRealize Network Insight. See you in a bit.